Hello everyone, here you are listening Dr. Vipin Kumar and today's topic is the soil collides and actually this is the fifth series of the soil science. So here I will discuss about the soil collides. First of all, I will tell you the soil collides is the minute particle and its size is uh, actually less than 0 0.001 millimeter in the size. And actually this is the most active portion of the soil. And if you see that its interior surface is uh, embedded with the negative ions and because of this negative ions it will absorb this uh, positive ion on the outer layer and this is actually form a double ionic layer and this double ionic layer is called hormones layer and this is the uh, governing mostly the physical and chemical property of the soil so actually soil collides having some its property if you want to see the soil collides through this um, simple microscope so it is not possible you can visualize it and see see it only through the electron microscope and if you talk about the surface area of the soil collides so surface area of if we compare the one gram of the collides clay is ten, uh, thousand times greater than of the one gram of the coarse sand so if we can imagine that how much they are the finer and actually total surface area of soil collides is actually ranging 10 square meter per gram for the clay uh, with only external surface and two more than 800 per square uh, meter per gram for the clay with extensive internal surface area means outer surface area is uh, ranges from 10 square uh, meter per gram per clay and if we go in the internal surface area of this clay so it will be more than 800 square meter per gram for the clay so it is indicating that how minute they are other properties the surface charges actually I have already told that the soil collides having the negative as well as the positive charges but predominantly negative charges is more than the positive charges that's why they are carrying negative electrical charges and actually uh, we can uh, visualize it when we will pass the electric current through the uh, suspension of the soil collides so what we will find that the soil collides will be moving towards the anodes it's indicating that the soil collides is predominated by the negative charges and uh, the magnitude of this uh, magnitude of these charges is known as zeta potential and uh, if we interestingly want to know from where this negative electrical charges came on the clay so the first source is ionizable hydrogen ion and this ionizable hydrogen depend on the soil solution pH and if you see that in the alkaline condition that will be dominated by hydroxyl ion and this hydroxyl ion is the main source of the ionizable hydrogen on the clay so because of this ionizable hydrogen there will be the dominant dominancy or we can say the predominancy of negative charges on the collides and other is the isomorphic substitution as we know that the soil collides is composed of silicon and aluminium and i and uh, many of uh, this other than this like uh, magnesium iron and zinc they all are the having a uh, similar morphology of like silicon aluminium so whenever they will get the chance they will replace the each other suppose the silicon is mostly replaced by the aluminium so silicon is having here the four positive charges so, and aluminium is having three so whenever it will replace silicon so it will replace by the aluminium so aluminium get uh, reduce the positive ion on the clay it means previously here was the four so now it is three so ultimately what will happen the negative charges on the clay collides will be unchanged so that's why the dom the dominancy or uh, dominancy predominancy of the negative charges will be more on the clay in the similar fashion what will happen aluminium will be replaced by the iron magnet zinc or magnesium so because of the similar uh, morphology in the nature they will replace that and they will lower down the positive charges on the clay so negative charges will be unchanged so the uh, dominancy of the negative charges automatically will be more on the clay so these are the two reasons behind the more negative charges on the solid collides other property is the adsorption of cations what happen when it will uh, we know that the inner core is mostly dominated by the negative ion so because of the negative ions on the colloidals that 
the, that collides will and collides will have the property of to adsorb this positive ion on the outer layer so this property is called the adsorption of cation and other is the adsorption of water as we know that in the soil colloidals having double layer one is the uh, outer layer is dominated by the positive and inner is the negative so this cation itself and uh, soil collides particle itself is attracting water molecules toward towards so when the uh, we can see here that the water molecules are binded with the cations so when the water molecules hold by the adsorbs cation so this uh, layer will be called eastern layer and this is the actually the adsorption of water so the soil collides property uh, having the capacity to adsorb the water by the cations or by itself and other is the cohesion property when the two similar nature of the collides will bind together so in between that the water molecules will be held actually this cohesion property occur only because of the binding the water molecules in between that and actually when the water molecules plus cation packed between the intersurface area of the clay mesley so this will call this is called gunny layer when the cations as well as the water are packed in between the two uh, layer of the collides so that layer will form and that layer is called gunny layer and other is the adhesion property actually when the collides will go and bind with this non other uh, solid portion of the body and this property is called adhesion property and beside that it is having swelling and sinking properties in if we see the example in the case of smectite clay minerals and this smectite clay minerals having the property of swelling and sinking if we talk about the clay uh, black soil actually the smectite clay mainly found in the black soil in the dry condition what happened they form the crack and when raining will up occur and when wherever we will uh, hydrate this black soil so what happen they will increase the size of the collides so because of the increasing this uh, size of the collides the pore space inside this black soil will be blocked that's why the infiltration is very low in the black soil at later stage at early stage water will go very fast in this crack but at later stage when it will wet it so because of the wetting they will swell in uh, the colloidal particle will swell and they will block the pore space so at later stage infiltration will be very less that's why the infiltration is the biggest problem in the black soil other is the dispersion as we know in the water collides disperse each other because of they are charged and because of the charge they will repel each other and because of this repelling each other they will always suspend make a suspension and they all also collides each other and repel each other so this property is called brownian movement and when whenever this charges above this uh, around this collider particle will go down and finish uh, finish means uh, will lower so what will happen they will automatically go down and settle and it will form a precipitate or flock condition and this is property is actually called the flocculation property of this soil collides and other is the non permeability actually when the uh, soil collides will uh, remain in the suspension and when it, we will pass this suspension through a semi permeable membrane so what happen the water will go uh, through the semi permeable membrane but the colloidals will not go through the semi permeable membrane so it indicate that soil collide itself is having non permeability means they cannot pass through the semi permeable membrane i think you understand what is soil collides and what is the basic property of the soil collides and if you want to share it you can share it on your facebook twitter for the benefit of your friend and for for more related video in the future you can subscribe me here and for the getting more notification about my upload in the future you can on your notification button on your youtube so you can get notification whenever i will upload the video here and till now thank you very much for watching my video